In this topic, I'd like to discuss how to approach businesses once you've found potential locations. When it comes to approaching businesses, there's three methods that you can adopt. I'm just gonna do a short breakdown for the benefits of each method. The first method that I'd like to discuss is approaching a business in person. Going in person is a great method because it helps to build a personal relationship straight away and also shows the intent that you're serious. Going in person is an overall great method, but the only downside to it is it tends to be a bit more time consuming as you travel from location to location. So I'm now going to discuss cold calling. Cold calling is great for saving time because rather than visiting each business individually, you can just sit from the comfort of your own home and just call a list of businesses. A cold calling is a highly effective and efficient method due to the time that it saves. The primary downside of cold calling is you do miss that initial face-to-face -face interaction, but for the time that it saves, it more than makes up for it. The last approach method that I'd like to discuss is mass emailing. Mass emailing is simply sending each of the businesses an email about your proposal to place a vending machine. I wouldn't encourage to do mass emailing primarily on its own. I would use it as a secondary method in conjunction with the other two methods for maximum efficiency. Often what I find is businesses don't often respond within the appropriate time frame or they may not see the emails in the first place. So I'd only use this method in conjunction with the other two methods. When it comes to choosing the best method, it'd be closely in between approaching in person and cold calling. So what I often do when I'm pitching is I use a combination of both and I found that both work well. So if you call a business or if you walk into a business and they do have a vending machine, you should follow up and ask them, are you happy with their service? Now, this is a great question to ask. Sometimes you'll find, and you may have seen it personally before, you'll walk into a business and you'll see that their vending machine is constantly out of order and never seems to be working. And obviously this leads to trouble and frustration. So you can ask them, are you happy with their service? And you can propose to offer them a better service, which they may be interested in. Something that I felt was highly important to discuss was rejection. When it comes to approaching businesses, you will face rejection, but the way that I deal with rejection is you should not let rejection bother you in any single way. Rejection simply does not matter. In the nature of this business, yes, you'll get no's, but it doesn't matter. All you need is one yes to get started. It's like any single business. It's very important that you're persistent. You should not let rejection discourage you in any single way. If you get rejection, persist, move on to the next deal, and keep on moving and keep the momentum. That's all that matters. Rejection does not matter at all. The worst a business can say is no, if a business isn't interested and you take that and you move on to the next business. So to sum up, rejection simply does not matter. Keep on persisting and you will get that deal.